talking about it? Yeah. Make sure my yeah. time is promised by Chris Benoit. Yeah. Hey man, hey. Get... Uh, so my 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 two cents on it, man. I did see it, man. I enjoyed it. I I'm not gonna front on you. I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, I definitely felt like uh, uh, shit. How can I say this shit, man? I I I I felt like a little piece of me. Like I I took a different approach to it. You know what I mean? I I took approach where it was like battlers aren't who you expect them or who you think they are and shit like that, which is something I kind of know being in the background a little bit on some of these niggas, man. I I I, I know these niggas in real life, nigga, and they're not what they be rapping about. <laughs> so I, I I liked that part, man. Just for the people that that's not involved, man. I want them to because niggas are real life scared to go to battle raps, and I don't really get that, my nigga. Niggas will pull up on a Mozzie event, nigga, and tell me they ain't coming to a battle rap event, nigga. What? <laughs> what? I don't I don't know how that even makes sense to you, but uh. I, I liked it. I mean, I'm, I'm arguing with Chris Petty right now, man. He's he's going back and forth talking about there's culture vultures, and, and he's all upset with the shit and shit like that, man. But my daughter and me enjoyed it this morning. Uh, I was really excited. Shout out YouTube Red. I'm glad I went ahead and purchased that little thing, man. Um, yeah. Makes me want to know what other kind of movies they got out this motherfucker. Shit. I don't okay, so let me ask that. you this, DP. How do you rank that movie next to 8 Mile? Oh, uh, next to Eight Mile, uh, you know what? What Eight Mile just did more for me, I think. Um, shit, man, I I, I don't know, because I, I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment. You know what I mean? I ain't seen the Eight Mile Eight Mile in a few years now, um, so I don't want to be like, oh man, it was better than Eight Mile. You know what I mean? Because Eight Mile definitely had some some monumental things that went on in there, man. Lotto, I don't fit you. You know what I mean? Like I I couldn't remember too many of these bars from this one right here, man. So. I think I'm still going to have to go with 8 Mile above it, but it's pretty close. I mean, if we want to go but I haven't seen that movie verse yet. I still kind of want to see that one with Shoddy Horror. Shoddy Horror, that's his name, right? I, I want to see that one um, and see, see what that's like, man. But I, I have to say that it's a, it's a close second. It's a close second. But, again, yeah. I, I, I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment as well. You know what I mean? Let me watch both of them back to back, and then I can kind of tell a little bit more. <clears throat> Yeah, and and, and with, with 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 eight mile at eight mile at the same time, I kind of feel like that was a story about a man that was doing battle rap instead of a man trying to get in. I think it was different stories, you know what I mean. So I don't know if you can really compare, you know what I mean, peanut butter and jelly type shit. It just happened to both go on bread, you know. Hey, say that was a far by the way. <laughs> that was a far by the way. Go ahead. Yeah, that's a good point. Because I, I said the same thing in my assessment, like B Rabbit, uh, you know what I mean? It was more character building as opposed to Adam. Yeah. This was more about the culture as opposed to, you know what I mean, the main character. Facts, facts, and the, yeah, that that was definitely his. He was he was trying to he was trying to learn about the culture. He was trying to get involved with the culture. He was dealing with he was dealing with culture problems as far as as far as B Rabbit. This nigga was dealing with life shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And he just happened to escape in battle rap. You know, because niggas believed in him that he, that would get him out of his situation. That's That yeah. was Adam's case. So, I mean, it, it was it's kind of two different stories a little bit, man. So, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Just because it has battle rap in it doesn't mean, like, they should almost be compared. But I, I can kind of see where the argument comes from, though. Yeah. I feel like they're going to be compared because they, to date, are the two biggest films, you feel me, related to the culture, even with them being oh, yeah, two different kind of... Yeah. 100%. Any, anytime somebody is talk, even talks about body, and I'm, I'm sure this is not the first time this conversation has been brought up in just the just the battle rap culture. Niggas gonna be like, oh, so what, how do, what do you think about you know, how close is it to 8 Mile or how you compare it to? I mean, it's just something to compare it to, you know what I mean? Like, my mom compares my wife to my ex sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, these are two different bitches. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you say it. Hey, can you watch that shit for free? Or what? You got to have uh, like, I, YouTube well, Premium. I, 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 you, I can have, yeah, you can get your free trial. I'm you can get your free trial. I've, I've been I'm seeing like, that free file floating around here, though, too, man. But that YouTube Red, I mean, like, I, I'm not going to front on you, my nigga. That should be worth it to me. Because I got an Android, so I get Google Play. That's all free. All my Google shit's free. And then I get YouTube I get YouTube Red where I don't have to, like, 
I don't have to stare at the fucking, I don't have to stare at the phone. I can just play the shit like music, you know, turn off my screen. I can go on other apps and shit like that. So, I mean, I enjoy it. And then, you know, you can get like six heads on there for ten ninety nine, my nigga. If you got some niggas on there, you know what I mean? Just a couple of dollars here, a couple of dollars there. That shit work out. I'm going to have to throw that free trial on. You feel me? I'm with the free trial shit. Uh, hey, man, try that shit out, man. Yeah. Once you do that free I, trial, I, I, though, if you really I a YouTube you head, you're going you to want that, that premium. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> you going to want that premium. <laughs> when you, when you, you try that free trial, you go back to watch a YouTube the regular way, nigga, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, nigga, you got to take my little $11, nigga. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Because you start thinking like a about the stupid artists. shit you spend eleven dollars on a day. You what? How much, lot how much of, dumb shit you buy with eleven dollars, and you would just you just got to pay eleven dollars yeah. a month for this shit. Niggas walk out of Seven Eleven and then spend like fifteen dollars. Uh, you feel me? On oh, nothing. Facts and a lot of the music the that you can search. A lot of the music that you can search if you got premium, you can't search it on a regular account. For instance, like when an album drops and you kind of listen to that shit on YouTube and it's all these fake versions or you know, Man. I mean, super chopped and screwed and shit, you feel me? So they can actually get it on there without it being flagged. Like, you don't have I, 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 I like, the premium account. I like one of the things. One of the things that's big for me is that I can watch an hour-long thing, and I don't deal with a fucking ad at all. Like, I don't even – my son My son oh, swears man. that he's just lazy as fuck. He does not go on premium. Like, we have an account for him. He just won't fuck with it. I, he don't know. Whatever. He's not. But, like, I was watching YouTube with him one day, and, and it, the ad popped up. I said, uh, nigga, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm spoiled now, nigga. And then you got to wait a few minutes. Oh, yeah, man. I I said, nigga, we going on my account, nigga. Fuck this shit. We don't do no fucking ads. Yeah, that, that's yeah, man. I don't, I don't do no ads no more, nigga. I ain't seen an ad in so long. Yo, it be yeah, ads talking about like three series. times per battle and shit. Like that shit makes me mad, bro. Man, man that, that shit that, that you'll be able to avoid, man. Like I'm telling you, that that's gonna be your main thing. You try out the you try out the premium, then you go back and watch a battle rap, my nigga. Because I'll just watch battle raps back to back to back to back to back. I don't deal with no ads. You know, you're talking about thirty minutes, nigga. They popping up that ad just like in the middle of a fucking round too, nigga. Like no, in the no bar, respect bro. at all. <laughs> middle of a nigga bar, bro. Right before the nigga get to the punchline, the ad pop up. Like nigga. Smack, are you good, nigga? Or you, that's where you put the ad at? Uh, I, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll always praise that shit, man. I, I I spend way stupider money on dumber shit, if that all makes sense to you guys. 